Good morning and welcome to our 4th of July Friday Art Talk. Um, today's uh, talk is on color and uh, Joseph Alberts, an artist, and a little bit of meditation. So I have found um, that focusing on certain artwork is a wonderful way to meditate. And I'd like to share something that I found on uh, one of the museum sites. So if you look at this painting, it's obviously um, a variation of different colors and it was created by artist Joseph Albers. And Joseph Albers was wonderful because he discovered that um, colors can change by our own personal perceptions and how we see things. So sometimes in a class I'll say, you know, do you see that red? And some people will name it as a blue red, a fire engine red, or an orange red. So we, we do have different perceptions with color. But there's um, also Iten, I-T-T-E-N, who also played with colors and discovered that you can place the same color next to a different color and it will cause a different effect in your painting and the way it is perceived. So I hope you'll uh, check out these two different uh, artists who have explored color and color theory to help you understand how we choose color and how they affect the viewer uh, psychologically. So, um, you know, I always teach some uh, new meditation practices in my breath brush and meditation class. And there's a wonderful book that I'm going to share with you if you like the idea of meditating to artwork. So take a few moments to just observe the painting. And I always suggest that your feet are planted uh, on the ground and that you have an upright uh, posture. And if you can, just to relax and just take a couple, uh, what I call belly breaths, um, and just breathe in and breathe out, breathe out, just to relax, drop your shoulders, um, try and relax if there's any tension anywhere in your body. So take a few minutes and just observe this painting. Allow your eyes to move from the white square in the middle out to the largest square and back again. Note the unique color of each square. Next, to prepare for this breathing exercise, imagine each side of each square as a single four count breath. Take a few deep breaths. Focus on one corner of the white square. Follow an edge of the white square while inhaling for four counts as you move to the second corner. Then hold the breath as you follow the second edge to the third corner. Exhale slowly for four counts as you trace the third edge. Then hold again as you trace the final edge returning to where you started. Continue like this as you trace each square moving outward from blue to gray to green. Now close your eyes and continue to breathe in this way as you visualize squares of colors of your choosing. 
So you'll also notice that as you focus on the squares, they may vibrate, they may blend into one another. And this is what the color field artist really played with is that you go into the painting and it actually uh, interacts with your brain and your eyes and does some very fun things. So you'll have to practice this. You can repeat the uh, video and take your time breathing, inhaling and exhaling from each corner of each square. And then, you know, obviously starting with the white square, move to the blue square, to the inhaling, exhaling, then to the gray square, and then finally to the green square and then close your eyes. And sometimes with color field paintings, you'll actually see some colors or things as you close your eyes. So I want to share one more thing, and that's a meditation uh, book. Actually, I don't have it, so I'll have to hold on to it. But you can pick any painting that you like and just sit with it and practice breathing and I will share that with you at another art talk. In the meantime, breathe easy, enjoy your art this weekend, and have a wonderful happy 4th of July weekend. From my studio to yours, this is Elaine and Bergstrom. Check me out on YouTube and I'll see you next week at Friday live at 10 a.m.